In America, everybody wants something for free, but they end up paying for it in the end. What I mean is that the liars, the cheaters, and the thieves of other people's intellectual property always use and abuse titles and concepts until they run it through. But they totally missed what the Lord could do. You see, what they gained in fame or in income might not be even one one hundredth of what God could have done if his plan had gone through with it. You see, America needs a good film. America needs better television. America needs to know that they may have talent, but it doesn't last forever. And that talent comes from the Lord. Sure, it comes from hard work. But in truth, it's not about whether or not you're a boy or a girl. What matters is the, to the Lord is your soul. And if you've given up your soul to vanity, vice, vandalism, and violence, then you've given up your life. If you've been harming someone intentionally, stealing from them their opportunities, ruining their properties, and destroying everything that belongs to them, where do you think you get off? You might have a little bit of high from doing that, but what you're showing the world, what you're showing the person who probably knows you're doing it, is you have major codependency issues, that you're so busy doing things. And then the funny thing about the liars, let's just play that for just a moment, is that they'll always say, I don't have time to do that. Really? Then who did you pay to do that? How many people did you involve in helping you to do that? American citizens are more quick and apt to join a mob of harming someone than develop a team of people who can help someone. But here's the key point of that. Help that person on the path that God has put them on, not the path that you want to put them on.